Hey, welcome to Real Life Reviews with Katie and Oscar. I'm Katie. I'm Oscar. And anything you guys see in this video is not sponsored by anyone at all. So my wife went to Walmart and she saw this product that she was convinced to buy. You want to tell us about it? Sure. So I'm at Walmart with my daughter and over the loudspeaker, the person from the store said that there's a free product giveaway in the back of the store in the next 30 seconds, come by. Um, so we walked to the back of the store and they started demonstrating a product that I had never heard of before um, called the Amazing Whip It. And I was actually blown away by how well this product was used on multiple uh, stains, um, anything, cleaning supplies. Um, it's that, supposed to be the all-in-one cleaner. Right. So you know that uh, bucket or tub you have in your kitchen or bathroom that has you know, six to seven different cleaning products. All you need is this one cleaning product and it will take care of everything in your house. So we decided to stain our own carpet. Stupid. It was. <laughs> also, we tried spray paint on an extra piece of flooring that we have. And we're also gonna try it on tile in our mirrors. So we're gonna show you with our permanent marker marking things now, and then we'll go to the flooring to come back and let that dry. So we'll start with our countertops. That we have so oh. scary as it is this is what we are doing nice now do the flooring this is a piece of our flooring that we have All right, and then now this is the mirror. We decided not to clean it to actually see what it ended up looking like after. It's a little dusty. Oh, yeah. Here, hold on. Let me get the light real quick. Okay. You want to hit the light for me? Yeah. All right. So, you can barely see it, but it's there. I feel like the mirror might be too smooth for it to stay. Okay. All right, we'll let this dry. Let's go check out the stains on the floor and then we'll come back. So this is kind of what we did here. So we have four stains that were made uh, 12 hours ago on the carpet, seven o'clock this morning. We have ketchup here. Uh, we have teriyaki sauce here. We have hot sauce. And then very, very lightly, you can see red Gatorade. Um, I don't know how well you can see it. I thought it would stain much greater than it did, but wasn't we'll Coke at the end as well? Happens. And there was Coke at the end, but, but it kind of matched our carpet. Uh, it so. kind of matched the carpet, so it didn't really stain. Okay, so we do have two here because we are going to review. We're going to review, review uh, Resolve, the brand Resolve stain spot and stain, and then we're going to compare that with the amazing Whip It. Right. So we used this product in the past, actually. For many pet stains and other various uh, stains that happen right. on our carpet. So the stains on our right would definitely be the Resolve, so we can see this first. Right. So I'm going to just look at the back of the bottle real quick, um, and it says, spray area with Resolve, wait five minutes, blot or rub gently with a clean, damp, color fast cloth or sponge, and rinse sponge and cloth and repeat as necessary. We're going to use paper towels because that's what mainly right. what we use for so flooring. right side is going to be Resolve. I'm going to spray it. Do we have to let it sit? Yeah, we have to let it sit for five minutes. So let's spray. Five. So how about we do one minute for each okay. since the other one Perfect. requires a one minute. And then I'm going to spray the Amazing Whip It over here. About the same. All right, then let's go ahead and spray the next one so they all soak and then we'll come right back. It should be about a minute after. So I'm going to be pretty stunned if this also actually, actually comes out. So when she brought it home, we actually tried it on our stove top. Yep. It did not work on a stain that tough. I think it was just so caked on. 
Right, we'll see this hot sauce is That's a bright stain. Pretty deep in there. Gatorade here at the end. Yeah, that one's very faint. Right. We're not even gonna bother spraying the coke because we clearly cannot see it. Alright. So here neither one of the two change, and this one is the ketchup. The one with actually from the whip it, I don't remember if it looked darker, but it actually looks darker to me now anyways. <laughs> So we're going to do the, the resolved, resolved first and the directions again sent to blot or gently rub. So I'm just blotting the carpet and I'm off a little bit. And I'm going to go ahead and do the amazing whip it. All right, let's see. And again, uh, this product you should actually just uh, dab as well. Don't rub it in. It's supposed to transfer the stain. I'm wondering if it would let it sit for maybe a little bit longer. It moved more of that stain there. Yep, here's the whip it and the resolve. And this one also says allow to set for two to three minutes, then agitate. So, um, Quite Maybe we'll spray so, them. Uh, you want to spray them again? No, let's let it sit now let's since sit. we did that. We'll come okay. back in two to three minutes and see how things have changed. Okay. All right. It's been a couple minutes. We're gonna so, just try this again. Um, again, this side is the resolve. Let's see how much it's still not really. I mean, a little bit still coming up from this one. We know we should be using a certain a type of cloth, but. We figure paper towels, we use those mainly. Let me see if I do the same thing. So. Does it look lighter? I feel like between the two of them, the whip it looks like it's coming up more on yeah. the paper towel at least. Um, we can go on to it the next It does look one. a little darker here than yeah. here. We can go on to the next so, one. This, this is, is a teriyaki. teriyaki. So I'm going to flat. Right side here. Oh, I just went right to the top. Yeah. And the resolve said you could rub a little bit, so I feel like this teriyaki came up really good actually with the resolve. Starting to foam. Yep. And let's try the whip it where it says only to dab. It says not to rub, so. One thing I think is so interesting about this amazing whip it is that when you dab, it literally all the stain like just comes up. I mean, this one is crazy that like if you look at the stain next to the side of the resolve, oh, yeah. you see how the side of the resolve it looks kind of crusty actually on top of the carpet, and the side with the amazing whip it looks like. I mean, it just looks like a regular carpet. It doesn't even look like it's wet or anything. It looks like no change to the carpet whatsoever. From where I'm at, you can still see the stain. Yeah, you can still see it in there. But here is absolutely mm -hmm. nothing. And this is a water-based stain removal. Right. And the other nice thing about the Amazing Whip It is that it is totally non-toxic. It has toxic. It has no chemicals. Um, it's made with essential oils, so it's safe to use around children and your pets as well. You can also wash the vegetables with it. Yep. Yep. So now we're going to move on to hot sauce. This is actually sriracha. And we'll try the resolve again first. And flatting really doesn't take much. I mean, a little bit came up, but the stain really doesn't look like it's been changed at all. What if the hot sauce is just so thick? I don't know. Let's see how it does look the amazing with it. I mean, the stain is definitely there, but it's still there. It's going to need more time. Okay. Well, should we spray these again, do the next stain, and then come back to them? Yep. 
Yeah, let's do the very last one first. We still have red Gatorade over here, way, way at the end, which is very, very faint. You can almost barely see it. I see the resolves, the stain that we sprayed the resolve on. I almost cannot see the other stain here, and I don't know if it's our lighting or if it's actually like almost pulled the stain up. But let's try the resolve here. And then again, I think we're going to have the same thing like with the teriyaki where, you know, the stain is coming up, but it's almost, I mean, you can see it on the paper towel. Right. The paper towel is definitely pink. And then let's see about the moving with it here. And this one I can still kind of see here. Yeah, it's almost just like the teriyaki where you see like the crustiness of the carpet from the stain. But um, this one, this one here, I, I mean, I can't really see anything. I see maybe a little bit of pink in there, but I feel like. Look under the towel, show the comparison. Could be here. our lighting, too. I mean, look at that. Yeah. Look, look at how much that pulled out of the carpet. Right, and this is the whip it. Right, and this is the resolve. So. Yeah, I can still see red here, yeah. but nothing too pinkish, much here. Yeah. I see a pinkish tint there. So let's go ahead and spray the, these other three one more time and then let them sit for a few more minutes. Um, and then we'll go on to the next one. So there's the ketchup stain. Teriyaki there, Teriyaki yeah. Teriyaki is there. And then the hot sauce. Let's get those on. This one. And I know we should use more concentrate for tougher stains, but this is the bottle that they pre-mix. Right. This one, I don't even see it. No, it's not so even worth spraying it. You're not even spraying anything. And then spray this hot sauce to kind of get close in, get it nice and saturated there. So we'll let those sit for a little bit and then come back after we do the next one. See you guys in a couple minutes. All right, guys, we're back. And now we're going to try these two different products, the Amazing Whip It, which we had just tried on the carpet before. And we're going to compare that against this Windex Multi-Surface made with vinegar um, for the permanent marker on our kitchen counter. So the eyes and the nose of the smiley face, I'm going to spray the Windex on, and I'm actually going to cover this, the mouth like this, so we try not to get mix them up here. So I'm going to go ahead and do a spray on each. And I'm not sure what everyone else uses on their countertops to clean. Um, you know, we typically use just an all-purpose cleaner, which is why we have this here. So I'm going to let that sit for a moment. And now I'm going to spray this, um, the Amazing Whip It, over onto the smiley face. And I'm going to try not to get them to cross there. We're just going to let that sit there for a moment. Um, because it's permanent marker, it's going to take a little bit more to get it out of there. So let's keep that on there right now and let's go over to the wood flooring that we're going to try to get this little heart um, off of so here. This flooring is exactly what we have on our floor. We right. had an extra piece and we yep. decided to see what happens here instead of there. Yes. So what I'm going to do here is on this side here, I'm going to use... Um, the covered, well, the uncovered side, I'm going to use the Windex Multi-Surface Cleaner again. Um, and I'm going to spray that here. Weird spray. Look at the thing here. I don't know, it's not your... in that thing. Obviously, we're almost out of this stuff. And then the other side here, I'm going to spray the Amazing Whip It. And there. I'm going to let that sit for a moment. And then here, which they say also works, is spray paint. Right. So we spray painted this piece. It seems to be somewhat dry. Yeah. All right. Oh, yeah. It's dry. Okay. So, again, this side here, I'm going to spray 
with the Windex multi-surface made with vinegar. And Windex is not clean to take this out. Let me see it once here. No, no. There you go. All right. I'm gonna get a couple sprays now. Perfect. Yeah, that's good there. Okay. And then I'm going to spray the other side here with the thing right there. Perfect. So there's nothing sprayed here in the center. Right. At so all. that'll just stay there. All right. We're gonna let those sit for a moment, and let's go over to the mirror. Which the mirror actually, um, we're going to compare with the mirror. We're going to compare um, original Windex and the Amazing Whippet. So again. What I'm actually going to do is I'm going to do half and half. I know, but it's on its side. So I mean like half the face, like, one eye and half the mouth. Can, we, can you go up like this a little bit just so it doesn't, because it's going to slide down, you know? Right. So if I just put it like this. That works. All right. So the eyes and the nose, I'm going to use the original Windex here. It's a little hard to see, especially with that light there. Let me see if I can cut that light. There. All right, is perfect. That. And then the mouth, I'm going to spray with the amazing of it. And then this, we're going to just wipe off right away. So you can um, start with the Windex first. We do the Windex first, and that actually didn't didn't go so bad. It come, came right off there. And then I got another paper towel here, and I'm going to wipe oh. off that. Yeah, figure the mirror. So they both really kind of work similar. Um, the one thing I do want to show you, and I'm going to show you this with the difference with the two, is the amazing whip that I noticed and just by using this um, over the last week is I've cleaned mirrors and you know when you clean mirrors and you have streaks and you have um, like uh, towel pieces, particles that like stay on your mirror. The one thing I noticed with this product, the Amazing Whip It, is none of that it exists. It's strange. And look at how incredible that is that it's like, it's almost like magic. I don't see any streaks. I don't see any paper towel residue anywhere. It's just like a clean mirror. All right, should we go back to the yep. countertop here? Let's go to the countertop here. And we're gonna try the eyes and the nose first, which again, we use the Windex multi-surface made with vinegar. And I it's see faded. it's fading and it's smearing, but Still on our countertop. That's kind of scary. Very scary. So now we're going to do the smiley face with the amazing Whippet. And it's still there. Um, I feel like it's a little bit more faded, but it is still there. It looks a lot lighter though. It does look a lot lighter. So I think what we're gonna do is we're gonna spray the whole thing with the Amazing Whippet and hope, fingers crossed, <laughs> yeah. the whole thing comes out. So let's just spray it there. It may have to be for more than a minute. All right, so let's check the flooring. Okay. So this, I feel like would come off a little bit more. It is very smooth. Okay. So this side was your Whippet. Right, and the other side is the uh, Windex multi-surface. Right. So let's try this side first. And I oh, wow, actually, I like, nothing's coming off. It's not, it's not uh, moving whatsoever. It's weird how the soaps and stuff like that, too. Um, and then, let's do the amazing Whippet side here. Look at how... Oh, wow. It's like magic. It's like it didn't even exist on the wood flooring. It's not like you're trying to sell the product. So <laughs> I'm just like in shock how half oh, of wow. that is there, is gone. You know what I mean? Like this, it's not even moving with the Windex. And maybe that product is, you know, the Windex multi-surface is not supposed to pick that up, you know, but... It's just incredible how the amazing Whippet literally makes it disappear. And the reason we use Windex is because we have kids in the house, and this is made with vinegar, so it's a safer product just like Whippet would be. Right. So now, 
going over to the spray paint, the Windex has done something really weird. I don't know if you can see that, but just kind of like... Like maybe, yeah. yeah. Like it's all s s coming together, you know, like sitting together. Whereas right. the Amazing Whippet side is like still how we sprayed it. So, all right, let's try the Windex side. And... I mean, my nails taking some of it out. Yeah, because... I feel like it's moving it a little bit, and I feel like that's what you're going to have to do with spray paint, is use your fingernail to get it out. But let's try the other side. I don't have to use your nail on this side. Let's see what happens. Yeah, it's not moving at all. Yeah, I couldn't imagine it cleaning spray paint. I mean... Right, I'm just actually shocked that... Well, I guess if I use my nail, it comes... Yeah, I don't think it works on paint because, I mean, if you wanted to clean something else, paint it. You really wouldn't want to take off the paint. Right. So it's weird that they I advertise mean, paint. One odd thing or difference, I guess, between the two is the side with the Amazing Whippet is coming off much easier with my fingernail. Then, you know, like it's peeling like right. in whole pieces almost So this together. may not be accurate, but try, try taking a paper towel and doing the center where we put no solution at all. Grab a new paper towel and try scraping it in your fingernail. See if there's a difference between the Whippet and the Windex. Oh god. Yeah, okay, like, you can stop. It's like not. It's like sticking to yeah. it almost. <clears throat> so, I mean, it, it's gonna, both products pick up, take out the spray paint with a little yeah, elbow, grease. elbow grease into it, but um, I feel like if I had to choose between the two, the Amazing Whip it obviously cleans it up a little bit easier, cleaner, you know, more in pieces rather than, um, you know, little pieces. Right. So, so should we go back to our countertop and see if we can actually get yes. this stuff off of here? Let's see if this will actually Because this is actually off. the center of our, right. of our countertop here. Yeah, I guess we're living with it. Yep, we sure are. Smiley face. Yeah, give up. Yep. That that's we're... coming off. I can see more of that coming up. I think up. we're stuck with a smiley face forever. It's all right. Always be happy when we walk in the kitchen. Yeah, right. <laughs> <clears throat> all right, let's go back and check out our carpet stains and see how those are coming along. All right, we're back to our carpet stains here, and let's try the ketchup again. Um, remember, the right side was the Resolve carpet cleaner. Pressure into it and dab it and see how much comes up here. It's killing our dogs that we didn't let them lick these stains. <laughs> All right, so not very much came out now of that one. Oh, yeah. Um, but let's try the Amazing Whip It. Apply the same kind of pressure. Who ever thought ketchup would have stained this bad? Tomatoes. <laughs> Tomato stain. All right. Um, that that kind of turned brown, didn't it? Yeah. I feel like there's still hope for the Amazing Whip It with the ketchup stain. I feel like it's gonna it's gonna come through on there. So let's try the. Uh, we have teriyaki sauce here with just the Resolve again, and see how well the carpet looks. I feel like the stain is almost out for both here. But again, this one's going to have to be some time. The Resolve gets soapy, and there's still, I mean, look at that, how much still came out of that. I feel like there's still more stain down there that, you know, it will yeah, come up. Very soapy. You know, so. All right, so the sriracha here. here. We got some sriracha. That one I don't feel like is going to come out. <laughs> yeah. I mean, it's still pulling with the Resolve, it's still pulling the color stain out, you know, look at how much it's still pulled yeah. out there. I mean, it's, it's pretty deep in there. He's been here for about 15 minutes now. Right. How's that one doing? I mean, there's still a lot of stain in there. So, I mean, these stains, I feel like, um, I feel like they still have hope. Um, maybe using a higher concentrate of the Amazing Whippet. Um, you know, they they 
They obviously sell it in a concentrate formula and that you mix with water yourself. So I feel like the harder the stain or the deeper, darker the stain, um, the more concentrate that you will need um, to get that out. So. All right, so these are our stains. This is what we ended up with. Right. So there we go. All right, so I guess in summary, my opinion, um, although the um, Amazing Whip It did not fully get out all of the carpet stains and did not get out um, the countertop stains, I feel like overall it's a better product because you only need one bottle of product to clean everything in your house. What's your opinion? My opinion is it's, it is true it is a water base there's no chemicals it's safe around pets so when you clean something on the floor you don't have to worry about it they're licking it up mm -hmm. trying to keep them away from it it is a great product mm -hmm. from our standpoint um we'll definitely continue using it uh if you guys want to see more of it please let us know we'll keep you updated on these stains and also if you guys have any other products that you guys are iffy about buying yourself or something that you guys have tried and it really works for you guys Please let us know. We're more than willing to uh, to do a review on them. Right. The multiple products, one product. We welcome we, suggestions. We so do. please post them in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment, please. Bye. Bye.